वेलकम डियर ट्रैवलर्स टू भारत की बातें अ जर्नी बियॉन्ड द कन्फाइंस ऑफ स्पेस एंड मैटर आई एम समय योर एटर्नल कंपेनियन द विस्पर ऑफ टेल्स वोवन इन द फैब्रिक ऑफ टाइम थ्रू द कॉरिडोर्स ऑफ हिस्ट्री वी शेल एन ट्रैवल द टैपिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया अडॉन विद द ह्यूज ऑफ कॉन्क्वेस्ट एंड लिबरेशन एम्ब्रॉयडर्ड विद द थ्रेड्स ऑफ ट्रेडिशन एंड इनोवेशन From the echoes of Vedic chants to the roar of modern progress, India's story is a melody that reverberates across time and space. In this series, we delve into the triumphs and fortunate happenings of India's past and present, and do not shy away from the disasters and adversities that have shaped and continue to shape our nation. But remember fellow travelers for time waits for none so come along as we embark on this timeless adventure where every conversation is a celebration of our beloved nation let's cherish the journey one story at a time today we are diving into a topic that's as controversial as it is critical the role of opposition parties in spreading misconception about various schemes and laws enacted by the parliament of india This video aims to uncover how certain political figures and parties have over the years twisted facts and fueled misinformation to gain political mileage. Let's be clear, the essence of a democracy lies in the healthy debate and constructive criticism offered by opposition parties. However, when this criticism crosses the line into the territory of deliberate misinformation, it becomes harmful to the nation's progress and unity. Let's start with a historical example. Remember the controversy around the Land Acquisition Act in 2013? The opposition parties, particularly the Congress party led by Rahul Gandhi, branded the bill as anti-farmer without fully explaining its benefits to the rural population. The bill aimed to facilitate land acquisition for development projects which could lead to economic growth and job creation. However, the narrative of land being snatched away from the poor farmers took center stage, creating widespread unrest and confusion. Another instance is the introduction of goods and services tax GST in 2017. Initially proposed during the UPA government, the GST was criticized heavily by opposition leaders like Mamta Banerjee and Arvind Kejriwal when the BJP government finally implemented it. They called it a draconian tax regime that would destroy small businesses despite the long-term benefits of a unified tax structure, simplifying the tax system and boosting the economy. Fast forward to recent times the Citizenship Amendment Act saw similar tactics the opposition including leaders from the Congress party claimed that the CAA was discriminatory and anti-muslim this led to massive protests across the country however the act was designed to provide refuge to persecuted minorities from neighboring countries and did not affect the citizenship of any indian irrespective of their religion the narrative created by the opposition led to unnecessary panic and unrest then there is the farmers protests against the three farm laws introduced in 2020 Political leaders like Rahul Gandhi, Arvind Kejriwal and Akhilesh Yadav called these laws a death warrant for farmers, stating they were designed to benefit large corporations at the expense of small farmers. However, these laws aimed to give farmers more freedom to sell the produce directly to the buyers, thus eliminating middlemen and ensuring better prices. The relentless narrative pushed by the opposition led to prolonged protests and deep divide among the farming community. Recent Lok Sabha elections saw opposition parties making enticing promise to deposit 8000 rupees into women's bank accounts immediately after winning a tactic aimed at influencing voter sentiment this promise akin to previous instances of misleading claims underscored the tactics of misinformation employed by certain political figures After the elections many women stood in long queues eagerly awaiting the promised financial support only to realize it was not fulfilled This incident vividly illustrates the consequences of unkempt electoral assurances and their impact on public trust in political agendas Furthermore Rahul Gandhi made a controversial statement saying that those who call themselves Hindus are engaged in violence and hate such statements can have a profoundly negative effect on the minds of the masses they can entice communal tensions and drive people away from the rational political discourse these tactics are not only misleading but also harmful they create a false narrative and divert attention from the actual benefits of these schemes the opposition strategy seems to be for 
focused on creating fear and confusion among the public rather than engaging in constructive criticism. As a secular state, India should focus on inclusive development and social harmony. The discussion of religion in parliamentary affairs often distracts from real issues and creates unnecessary divisions among the populace. Today, we have explored how opposition parties often use misinformation to influence public opinion about government policies. It's crucial to prioritize factual discussions and transparent political discourse. What's your take? Should opposition parties be held accountable for spreading misconception? Share your thoughts below. Until next time, stay informed and stay engaged. Finding this story interesting? Then stay tuned with the Cognizant Crow for more such videos and never let your curiosity die.